your glutes feel like they're going to fall off at the end of this workout, then you know you're doing it right. And this is me warning you. We're gonna make juicy cheeks here today. So I'm going to bring you through my full glute isolating workout. Now, this is not legs. This is not my quads. This is not my hamstrings. This is solely my glutes. I want to get into it right away. So I'm going to put the chapters here beside me. So skip ahead if you want to. I do recommend watching it fully through because I do add in some tips and tricks throughout the video. Quick introduction, I am Sarah. Thank you for joining my channel. I hope that you find some value and that you truly enjoy this video. Let's get into it. As always, I start my workout with some creatine and pre-workout that I put in my water bottle and I finish it up before I start my workout. I will link all of my supplements in the caption below. First things first, I am going to walk on the treadmill for around 10 minutes, just on a light incline, get the body moving. Then I'm going to do some dynamic stretches and then we will jump into that glute workout right away. All right, let's do a quick fit check. This is the brand new Stadium T from Alphalete. Oh, I didn't really tuck her in properly. But look how cute she is. She matches the porcelain amplified contour. Shorts just absolutely perfect. Can we get a zoom in? Can you see that? Can you see that? That matching skills. And then underneath is the Aura bra. This is the extra small. Quite nice. So I got a small in the shorts and extra small on the top and this is a large. I personally love to tuck it in the back so we can show off those glute gains. All right, to start off the workout, we're gonna get into hip thrusts. You can do hip thrusts on a machine or you can do them with a barbell or a Smith machine. So for today, I'm just gonna do it with a barbell. So for this one specifically, I'm gonna keep it quite light. I'm going to be doing 10 full range of motion hip thrusts, and then five cast glute bridges. So cast hip thrusts, that's the top third of the rep. And then hold for as long as possible, hopefully around five seconds. To make these hip thrusts a little bit more challenging, we're gonna put a band around our knees. Really target that outside of the glute. Make sure you have some sort of padding to protect your hips. I would never, ever recommend you doing hip thrusts without some sort of padding. If your gym doesn't have one of these, you can either buy one yourself or you can get one of those yoga mats and just like roll it up a lot and then put it under your hip bones. There was quite a few people that were walking behind me and I just want to respect their privacy. But anyways, like I was saying, positioning is you're going to tuck your traps into the box behind you. This is kind of like benching. So if you know what I mean by benching, then that's the exact same movement. Retract your shoulder blades pretty much. Plant your feet. I say like shoulder width apart. Keep your chin tucked, all right? Brace and just really have that mind to muscle connection. Your glutes are the one working. Focus on your glutes. Think about the muscles. Think about how the muscles are contracting and that will provide the best results possible, all right? Nine, ten, now cast. One, two, three, four, five, hold, five, four, three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one. Fuck it now. Give myself a little rest. I would say just over 90 seconds of rest. And then we'll get into two more sets of that. So in total would be four complete sets of that little circuit. All right, guys, this Hi. is one of my clients. This is Jesse. Hi. You wanna hold it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna put your progress photos with you. Oh, progress photos? Yeah, I'd be like, look at this guy. I went from this to this. Yeah, where did that please go? All right, I had to take the pump cover off because I am already dying of the heat. All right. Let's get into it. it. Won't get done unless you do it, eh? <laughs> Those don't get easier. Oh my God. Already 
creating a glute pump. Let's go. All right, I'm going to do my last set of these hip thrusts, and then I will come back and show you my next exercise. Wish me luck. So finishing up those hip thrusts, one thing that I want you to understand is you do not need to always increase weight to make it more challenging. I notice a lot of people online say to always try to increase weight. No, there are other ways to do it, like the banded, like adding reps, like creating a pause. There's always things that you can do and you should incorporate it into your program. I have step ups. So I usually like to do step ups on the Smith machine, but there's someone on the Smith machine and I'm just not gonna wait because I feel like if I wait too long, then my motivation will lack and nah, I just, I'm just gonna get into my workout, okay? So for my dumbbell step ups, I'm using my straps because most likely my grip will give out before my legs. I'm going pretty light because I actually haven't done dumbbell step ups in a while. And so for this one, you just really want to focus on making sure that all of the effort goes into that working cheek. Bring your knee up to a 90 degree angle. I always have like a little post in front of me so that I can just give myself a little bit support. For the Smith machine, you have that bar to give you that support. But for here, obviously there's nothing. So all the effort goes on this leg, okay? <laughs> All right, switch hands. That was actually pretty easy on my up weight for my next set. Nine, 10. All right, 10 kg is way too light. We gotta switch it out. I'm putting it up to 14 kg. I feel it more if I lean a little bit forward. So my chest is kind of leaning forward. And that's why I like the Smith machine so much because I like to put it on my back and like, it just fits perfectly, but I need to talk, stop talking about the Smith machine because it is not available. Looking back on those videos, I feel like I could do better. I feel like I could try to not push off of that back leg, that back non-working leg. So this set, I'm gonna try really hard to just really focus only on my working leg. So that might mean not even touching the ground or touching it with my heel instead. Okay, lean a little bit forward. One, two, ten. Whew. All right, good weight. That was good weight. Really try to avoid bouncing off the bottom with that non working leg. Let's do it on the other side. Oh, we're gonna do one more set of that, and then we're gonna get into my next exercise. So, I'll see you then. So my next exercise is glute kickbacks. And these honestly, like get me going. These are so hard. So I find with glute kickbacks, it's really hard to go up in weight because you can do it. You can go up in weight and you can perform the exercise, but I just don't feel it as much in my glutes because my hamstrings, my quads, my back may take over just to get the weight up. So I always recommend going a little bit lighter and actually feeling the contraction rather than just trying to lift as much as possible. So for this one, because it's quite a low weight, I do the low weight and then I drop set it. So I drop the weight and just really fatigue those glutes. All right, let's get into the setup of it. To set up for this exercise, you are going to need these attachments for your ankles. Some gyms come with them, but some gyms do not. So I recommend going on Amazon. There's some really cheap ones. I think you can get them for like $5. Now, you put these right on your ankles. And then you set the cable machine at the very bottom. All right? Now, I'm probably going to put it on 5 kg. And then I grab a plate and I put this on the ground because I want my standing foot to be a little bit taller than my working foot so that it does not hit the ground when I come back. You'll see what I mean, all right? I kind of like to lean forward because that's how I get the best mind to muscle connection. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but I do not want my foot pointing forward. I like to point my foot, say at like 10 o'clock, if that was a clock, and then you can go up. 
Now I'm gonna be doing 10 of these. It might be feel pretty easy at the beginning, but it comes on quick. 10, now I'm gonna drop the weight, I'm dropping it to 3.75, and I'm gonna do probably another 10 here. All right, we're gonna do the other foot. And I think for my next set, I'm actually gonna jump up the initial weight. I'm going to switch from a 5 kg to a 7.5 kg. Make it a little bit harder. I felt like that was doable, but it wasn't challenging enough. Finish the last set of that, and then we'll get to the next exercise. Man. I'm sorry, glutes. I'll feed you protein soon. So uh, for my last exercise, I am going to do good mornings. I'm only gonna be doing two sets of this, but pretty high hip rep range. The reason why I'm doing a higher rep range is because I'm not going that heavy for it. So keeping it at a lower load will help me really target those glutes. So I'm thinking we're probably gonna just put like a five kg on each side. We'll see how that feels. We can always up it for my second set. All right, I kind of cheated myself with that one. I think that's a little too, a little too easy. So let's add 10 kg on each side. I think that will be a good working weight. Now, because that one was kind of easy, I'm gonna do these for three sets. All right, so for this one, the way I set up is I tuck the bar into my back, like as is if I would do doing a squat, but that's because it's comfortable for me. You could do high bar if you want, now you want to bring your feet like backwards. So if it's directly behind, now bend your knees a bit and bring your glutes and hips back. So the way to kind of think about this exercise is kind of like an RDL, but like a backwards RDL, meaning the weight's like on top of you. And then I just focus on pushing my hips back in that hip hinge position, all right? Back should stay the same and not going too low, all right? I feel like my glutes are shaking right now. Oh my God, we are done. And you might say, Sarah, that was only four exercises. And I'll be like, so what? This is my reminder that you do not need to do so many exercises to get the goals you want. As long as you're doing the exercises with intensity, and really pushing yourself, you do not need to do so many exercises. I actually prefer doing less than more and maybe doing more sets. Like for example, my hip thrusts, I know those are so efficient that I'm gonna do four sets of those. I wanna take the time to thank each and every one of you who support me in any way, shape or form. That might mean liking my content, that might mean subscribing, that might mean using my code, but whatever, my code, that might mean, that might mean using my code. Whatever it is, I appreciate you so, so much. Don't forget to subscribe because I will be posting on here hopefully a lot more. So please drop a comment on what you wanna see. But other than that, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.